today i'm going to talk about introduction of uh, trusses different types of trusses the stability criteria required in the trusses what are trusses what are the different examples of trusses we will first discuss about that and then we will see how to solve a truss question This is the simplest form of a truss, a triangular truss. This is a rigid, non-deformable truss. This is a second form of truss, which is not stable. We will discuss what is the stability criteria of a truss what are the examples of trusses and trusses are basically the building structures which you see on a regular basis for example the bridge design that is a form of truss the electrical transmission lines even that is a kind of truss so these are the regular very common examples of trusses now what is the stability criteria for a truss m equal to 2j minus r now what are these alphabets given over here m is the number of members j is the number of joints and r is the number of reactions now for example if i take any simple truss it should satisfy this condition of m equal to 2j minus r now i'll give you one example of a truss the triangular truss that we had seen initially now this truss is having three members one Two and three. J number of joints. We have three joints. Reactions. For the hinge support, we have two reactions along the x direction and along the y direction. For the roller support, we have only one reaction that is perpendicular to the surface that is in the y direction. So the total number of reactions that I have is 3. Now I'll put up these values in the equation. This shows that it is a stable truss because my left hand side and right hand side are equal. This is the second example that I can show for a truss. Now we will see the stability criteria for the truss. Again, we will define the members, joints and the reactions. We have four members. We have four joints and same as in the previous example, we have three reactions. We can see that 
my left hand side and right hand side both are not same that means this is not a stable truss on the left hand side i can see the number of members as 4 while on the right hand side i can see the number as 5 since the number of members is 4 it means that one member is less in this case so i can say that this is a deficient truss now it suppose it happens that if i want to add one member to this truss and if i add that member there is a possibility that it will get it will become a stable truss now in this example you can see that i have made the square truss but with one more member in between so my number of members becomes 5 i have the same number of joints that is 4 and the number of reactions is same 3 now this becomes a stable truss because my left hand side and right hand side are same suppose in this case again if i happen to add one more member so what happens in that case now you can see that i have the square truss with two extra members in between so the number of members is six number of joints that i'm having is still the same that is four and number of reactions is again the same that is three now you can see that my left hand side and right hand side both are not same my left hand side is a higher number as compared to the right hand side that means i have one extra member in this truss and that type of a truss is known as redundant truss